Hey guys, what's going on? James here. And in this video today, we're going to be talking about how the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have signed tight end Jarrell Adams to a contract. Much like in the case of Antonio Hamilton, Jarrell Adams was a tryout player for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers um, going into rookie minicamp. And his play and his, uh, I guess, workout, if you will, in that rookie minicamp has now resulted in him getting a full-time contract to compete for a tight end spot with guys like Tanner Hudson, among others. So we're going to be talking about him today and what he is bringing to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, which, you know, this isn't surprising to me because Jarrell Adams is a veteran, and of course you want as many veteran guys on a team as possible, but uh, we didn't hear a lot about Jarrell Adams going into the rookie minicamp, and we didn't hear a lot about him going out of the rookie minicamp, but still regardless, um, his workouts were good enough to get him a full-time contract, so hey, Kudos to him. That's awesome. But we are yet again on Wikipedia, the best source of information, and we are going to talk about this. So Jarrell Adams, 28 years old, uh, born on New Year's Eve, by the way. That's kind of cool. Six foot five, 254 pounds, so a bigger guy, something that you would expect from a tight end position. Went to college at South Carolina, which is honestly kind of interesting considering uh, Antonio Hamilton went to South Carolina State, so there's some connection there. If you guys look at his career history, spent time with the New York Giants in 2016 and in 2017, then spent time with the Houston Texans in 2018 and in 2019. Then with the Saints in 2019, he was either in the offseason program or a practice squad member. And the same thing can be said for the Baltimore Ravens and the Detroit Lions in 2019. 20. Uh, if we go down here, take a look at his career statistics, 24 receptions, 214 yards, and one receiving touchdown, which, hey, you know, he's got experience in the NFL. He has got some receiving yards under his belt. He's got some receptions under his belt, and he's even got a receiving touchdown under his belt. These are a lot of positives talking about a guy who's trying to make an NFL team. He's been there before. He knows what it's like to play in an NFL game, so he's an experienced vet, which is a pretty decent thing. We're actually going to scroll down here, much like in the case of Antonio Hamilton. I want to take a look at his combine slash pro day measurables. Six foot five, one eighth inches. We're just going to call it six five, 247, a 4.64 40-yard dash, and then you guys can take a look here at the remainder of his measurables. So, not like a burning speed. It is, you know, good to remember that he is a tight end. So, not like insane burning speed. But, uh, you know, when I think of a guy like Jarrell Adams, it seems like a guy where he might not kill you with his speed, but the dude's got size, right? He's six foot five, uh, you know, around 250 pounds. So, the dude is a big big man you know six foot five 254 pounds uh supposedly right now at the current time of this recording so big guy who's going to use his body to his advantage and try and out muscle you and uh, out jump you i guess if you will with his body much like kind of like you know what mike evans does or some of the other tight ends in the nfl like gronkowski among others but I'm going to go ahead and take it a step further, guys. We're going to take a look at some of his game logs. So in terms of offensive snaps, okay, NFL games where Jarrell Adams has logged offensive plays in the NFL, he has been in 28 games where he has logged NFL snaps, which is very good. In the two games where he wasn't on offense, he was playing special teams. So this is good, okay? He's got a lot of experience, 28 games. In the NFL, playing the tight end position, that's pretty darn good. Or at least getting some playing time uh, in the NFL for 28 games is pretty darn good, in my opinion. Uh, taking a look at special teams now, he's only played in 20 games on special teams, but when he wasn't playing on special teams, he was getting more snaps on the offensive side of the football. So this dude, Jarrell Adams, can play both offense, and he, can, and he uh, can play special teams as well, which is always very valuable for guys who are trying to make those third, fourth uh, roster spots, or I guess depth chart position spots. Jarrell Adams seems like he can do both, which that kind of versatility is very valuable, uh, in terms of making the bottom ends of rosters. So there you have it, guys. I'm going to be very excited to see how Jarrell Adams can do. You know, we'll see how he progresses and, uh, you know, both on offense and on special teams throughout the remainder of this offseason, hopefully going into that preseason as well. Should be very, very exciting. But what do you think about the Jarrell Adams signing? Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below. Big-bodied veteran tight end who has experience on some special teams. I'm all here for it. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.